Hey there, Nick Chitak is here. In this video, we're gonna go over how to show and keep trailing white space in markdown files using the Vim Better White Space plugin. So I've got this little markdown file here. If I do something like a hello world, I do have things configured here where we can do a markdown preview and check that out in a browser. I've done videos about that one in the past if you wanna check it out. But this video is going to be specific to things like this, where we have two spaces at the end of the line. Notice how Vim is showing this uh, right away here with the red here. You know, if I add some more spaces, we're gonna see even more. And in markdown, two spaces at the end of the line is pretty important here because if we go and check that out in a browser, it is going to add a BR tag. So this is a little bit deceptive. There's not two paragraph tags there. There's actually one paragraph tag with the BR inserted. So depending on how you have your CSS set up or whatever you want to do, it may be interesting to actually keep trailing white space in markdown files. But if you have other files, I don't know, like a Python file or something like that, you probably want to have all white space stripped on save. So if I do something like a uh, print hello here, whatever, it doesn't really matter what it is. Uh, we can see two spaces at the end of the line. That is good. But I am going to save the file right now with Vim and boom, watch it disappear. So we do have the white space being stripped out on every other file except for markdown. And of course, there's other you know file types like diff or something where you may want to have this same effect here. But right now, I just have it applied to markdown. You can modify this really easily. Easily. So in this video, we're going to go over how to configure the Vim Better White Space plugin to get this to work. So this all starts with the vimrc file here, and uh, you will need to install the Vim Better Whitespace plugin. This is available on GitHub if you go to github.com, and then you go to this address here. Now, I'm using plug to install it. Feel free to install it however you like. But yeah, if we go to the configuration of this plugin here, there's a couple of settings that are pretty interesting. So uh, it can potentially confirm where you need to hit yes or no if you want to strip that whitespace. I don't want that confirmation because uh, I want to just have it happen without having to hit yes every single time I save a file. But I also do want it to happen on every time I save a file. So if you don't want to do that and you want to run the command manually to do it, you can absolutely do that if you'd like. I just like to have it happen on save here. You can also strip new lines at the end of the file. Like if you have a whole bunch of different line breaks, then it can strip that out as well. I prefer that in our non marked on files as well. Then this is an interesting setting. So this one is actually specific to doing what you want here. So this better white space plugin, it will have a blacklist of multiple file extensions by default, like diff and markdown and a couple of others here. But, uh, it's interesting when a file of type matches this blacklist, it actually won't get processed to show the trailing white space. And for me, I actually still wanted to see the trailing white space there because, you know, I've got something like 500 uh, markdown files in my blog. And, you know, once in a while, you end up with like one hanging space, not two, and that was by mistake. Or maybe you have some code fence with a whole bunch of code that you pasted in from somewhere, maybe some project you're working on. And I don't know, there's just like a whole bunch of different like spaces after some line like this here. I want to be able to see that to get rid of that. You know, it doesn't really affect the output that you can see visibly, but still, you know, these are things that I just don't want to have lingering around in my code base. So, you know, this idea here of having the default blacklist with all the different extensions that this plugin did by default didn't really work for my use case here. So, you know, that setting here, you can set that to an empty list. And then the, the real like hero of this one here is uh, there's an auto command that you can set here to disable strip white space on save just for markdown files. And if you want to have different file types here, like diff or whatever, you can totally do that. Uh, but yeah, this auto command here for markdown files is going to disable stripping and unsave. And that gives us the best of both worlds. We can actually see the white space here. And then thanks to this setting here, it is not going to be stripped on save. But yeah, I added this to my dot files recently, pushed it up there. I'll leave a link to that one if you want to check it out. So with that said, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. I'll do my best to answer all of them. Thanks a lot for watching. Please give the video a thumbs up because it really does help a lot. And I will see you in the next video.